So, Miss Price, ready to start? Price. Um, sorry, uh, could you just call me Hannah? Okay, uh, so Hannah, can you tell me what happened this evening? Matt invited me and Olivia to go hiking, and... And who's this Matthew, um, Russo to you? He is my boyfriend. Olivia Johnson, and who is she? She's my best friend. Well, I guess she was my best friend. Go on, Ms. Price. I'm sorry, Hannah. Go on, Hannah. So, we both went hiking with Olivia. We were walking for about an hour when Matt turns. Hey, come on, hurry up. Yeah, you don't want to leave us alone. He doesn't know his right from left. <laughs> Seems like those two were pretty close. Yeah, we were. We were all best friends. What happened? What happened? I don't know. There was a stick or a, a hole or something. I, I didn't see it, but I think it sprained. Looks like quite the sprain. Now, who wrapped it for you? Uh, one of the officers in the lobby. He saw me limping in and helped me out. Well, the woods can be a very dangerous place. Uh, anyways, to continue. I was lying there, and Matt decided that we should take a break for a little bit. Do you think you'd be able to walk? Yeah. yeah. It might just be a few minutes. This reminds me of that time in ninth grade when I broke my arm up here. Oh yeah, when we would come up here all the time, steal my parents' schnapps and play truth or dare. Hey, uh, Liv, truth or dare? Uh, truth. When? Who was the last boy you kissed? Um, probably Max Thompson a few weeks ago. Matt, truth or dare? Okay, I'm sorry, Ms. Price, but what part of this is actually relevant? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to remember everything that happened. I understand it's a lot, um, for Hannah right now, but let's get to the head just a little further down the road, okay? You guys are playing truth or dare, but when did you start to notice a change in Mr. Russo's behavior? I guess it seemed like some of the questions made him uncomfortable. Can you elaborate? Well, I asked this one question about a rumor that I'd heard between him and Olivia, and I meant it as a joke, but he got really angry with me when I said it, like I shouldn't have even brought it up. No, I'm sorry, what about this, uh, this rumor? Just small town gossip. Nobody thinks that guys and girls can just be friends, so they all assume that there's something going on behind my back. Okay, now how did Matthew react to this question? He was so mad. I swear I've never seen him that mad in my whole life. He just, he was screaming and he was in my face and he kept getting louder and louder and louder and calling me a liar and saying that I didn't trust him and that I didn't love him but he loves me and that he doesn't even care about Olivia and that they were all lies and that I was stupid for even believing it and then the screams, they just got louder and I just got so scared and I kept looking at Olivia for help but he was being awful to her too and screaming and it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. It's a lot to right now. Why don't you take a break, wrap it down the hallway, and then we'll be back and start again. Hannah, you don't know what you're talking about. You're starting to sound like a crazy person. Stop. Come on. Hannah, 
call me crazy. At least I know how to keep my hands to myself when I'm around other people's Hannah, boyfriends. Do not tell me to calm down. I thought you hurt your ankle. This is all your fault. Stop, Hannah. What are you doing? Don't hurt me, please. Miss ah! Price. I wanted to let you know that Mr. Russo has been taken into custody, so you are absolutely safe now. Okay? So, Miss Price, are you ready to begin again?